hello guys welcome to my channel again so today i'm going to just make a simple digital calc uh, di digital clock using javascript so it is going to be a small logic and i'm going to explain everything which i'm going to write but first let's see a demo of the code so i have this code written as a sample so i'm just going to open this to show you guys that what i'm going to make so this is a simple digital clock which you can make like with simple logic and few lines of code so before we start more into it if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do please um, motivate me to this journey it will help me a lot and without wasting any more time let's just start with it so first let me remove everything and let's just start fresh so uh, with sublime text you get few benefits which is this so I'm happy um, with it so if you want you can also use it otherwise notepad is enough so the title is uh, digital clock and what we need to have is few things so let's just figure out what we need first we need a text area where we actually have to display the time and it has to be bordered right so first let's make this out okay so to do that I need a sample time thing so let's see so first I need to just create a div tag okay and in that let's just uh, print the time which is as of um, now so let's say this so when we do this you will see something like that so now this text has to be displayed in that box field right so what we have to do is we have to style it a bit so I'm going to use the style tag for CSS and inside I have to provide the uh, elements that the div tag is going to use but we have to provide it a ID so I'm just going to provide it the ID clock anything that you want okay and then you have to use hash because we are using ID if it was class you have to use a dot just full stop okay now what we need to do is first we have to create a border right but border is of a width and height so first we have to provide how much width we have to provide so if you want to make it a responsive website you can always use percentage but I'm not going to do that so I will just provide a number 900 px but you uh, might have seen it in the uh, previous code so let me just track down like how I differentiate like why I do have to choose 900 px so let's rough it down to 1000 px so it has to be a rectangle right so in rectangle the width is larger than the height right so what we need to do is we don't have to provide the height that's the point because it has to be what we have provided in the text so it should auto fill the text inside this width and then it should always consume within that so if this text is going to get inside this width it has to automatically assign the size of like height of this text so let's just do this but you won't be able to see this because we don't have a border so let's create a border let's give it 1px solid and then black and then we need border radius but we can do it later on first let's do this so as you can see we have a border but we want it to be somewhere around here and this should be at the center and this is way too big right so let's just make it more beautiful so first we have to provide the font size because it is way too small so I'm just going to provide 200 px so if I do that okay it consumes the space in a efficient way okay so what we have to do is we have to switch this somewhere around here right so we have to provide a margin so margin should be around let's say 100 px first okay so it's good but not good enough 
so let's do 200 px right now we need to provide the padding so what we have to do is we have to provide uh, like this has to be centered right so to do that there are few ways but the simpler way is just provide like you can see there are types of padding here so just do something like this so if you do that you can see that it got this spacing a bit but that's not needed right it's good but it has to be centered so what you can do is okay uh, sorry about that uh, it won't work because that's not going to be enough so we just have to do this because the text inside this box has to be aligned so that's enough now border radius so you can uh, give it whatever color you want and whatever thickness you want for that border also the radius it depends on you you can see whatever number you want so that's based on the preference so this is a bit small okay so border is a bit lighter but it's okay it looks good so let's just move to the next part which is to switch it to the current time and it should always be dynamic so for that what we need is we need script because that's going to be handled by javascript so what we need to do is we need to create a function which is going to change the time inside that box so let's just say update time okay and then we need to first get the time which is not going to be time it is going to be the complete timestamp including date so if I were to display this field what it contains so document dot write and then date here and then we have to call out the function update time let's just run it so if you see this it has the day it has the date it has the time and the standard time so we don't need all the details we just need this which is hour minutes and second so I'm just going to fetch that so where time equals to date dot get first we need to get hours okay and then I'm going to append it with a colon as you can see here with date dot get minutes again appending it with colon and then seconds that's it so let's just print it out to see if it is working so yeah it is working so now I, I don't have to print it anymore I just have to replace it here right so let's try that so document dot get element by ID and then I have to get the ID clock dot inner html equals to time that's it let's do it so current right now time is 328 so it is updated but whenever it refresh then only it is doing that so i have to provide something which will refresh it each second so to do that i'm just going to call this function on an interval so set interval okay call that function which is update time 
and the interval is one second so let's see so it's working so that was it for this video if you have any questions you can always reach out to me if you have any more idea that i can uh, make a video on please put that on the comment box and if you like my video then please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share if you have some friends to help out and have a great day stay tuned for more and bye bye